What's up guys, another review from Supplement Reviews. Today we have the Extend BCAAs in the Knockout Fruit Punch flavor. As you can see right here, shows many fruits. We don't really know which ones are included, of, of course. This again is BCAAs, Muscle Protein Synthesis and some electrolytes. This is a th th 30 servings package. Of course, there is the 90 servings package, but I only found this one, that's why I got this one. This is 441 grams of net weight, once again, and it's sealed, so we're going to unbox it and review it. First impressions, never tried it. The nutritional information is the same as before, as the other BCAAs. Vitamin B6, magnesium, salt, potassium, the three BCAAs, glutamine and citrulline. These are the dosages right here. If you want to pause the video to check them out. And this is 8 calories per serving. The ingredients as always. Um, sweeteners are, is the sucralose and the steviol glycosides. And some colors. Allura Red AC and Beta Carotene. Never had this one before, so we learn together. The words hashtag one BCAA brand, informed choice batch. You know, this is tested for banned substances and everything. So basically this is the package and let's unbox it now. So let's break open the seal real quickly. Boom, like that, kind of easy. Let's open it up. Nicely sealed, airtight and everything. And let me just open it. It was a bit hard to open it. But once I got that, let me shake some powder off. Boom, like that. So this is it. The color is white. Let's let's see the scoop. The scoop is like this. Uh, it's an average scoop, I don't know. I really prefer the other design of scoops. I can show you if you want. Let me show you how the design of scoops I like better and because Extend actually changed these scoops. Basically, it depends on which one you get and even if you get the same one, it might have a different scoop. I don't know what they're doing. Let me show you. So the ones that I really prefer are these kind of scoops. They have it, they had it, they used to have it, but it was of course clear, not black. This is from another brand. And they also had this design, which is a bit shorter and bigger. And that's why I typically store my old scoops and take this out, put it in my old BCA uh, bottle or whatever. You can do whatever you want with it. And then use the other ones that I really like. So, of course, this is a powder and the bag for the absorbing moisture and everything. And I'm going to taste test it, of course, and do a mixability test on it. So I have my new shaker, because uh, one of my shakers kind of broke, the lid broke. We're going to test it out and see the mixability and the flavor and everything. So I mixed it up, I'm going to pour it in a glass so you can see the color and everything. Nice red color. No, it's, it's most in the camera it looks like a bit red, but it's really pink and red, kind of really deep pink. All right, that should be good enough. Here it is. Just looks like BCAs. And we're going to taste test it. And 
I'm probably going to have to leave it for a bit so I see if it settles or anything like that. So I have tasted it and it tastes like fruit punch but the taste is a bit subtle so it's not a very strong flavor. Maybe you will need to add more powder or less water. It depends but it really isn't bad as a flavor. I, I could see myself drinking it although it's not as tasty as some other PCAs like the pink lemonade that one is really good that's why I got two tubs of it but I think it still is good enough so the mixability is really good I don't see really much at the bottom but it froths up although it usual and the frothing usually the bubbles usually I don't like them they they kind of have a taste or something like that this is not the case here for me this specific moment it's just fine but as I said I'm a bit you know disappointed in the manner that it doesn't have a strong taste it's really subtle but it's not bad I don't know if I will buy any more of this specific flavor I will see in the future of course I mix and match some of my BCAs so sometimes I put half a scoop of this one and have a scoop of another one or I do stuff like that to mix them up but I always put like one scoop in total so thank you for watching tell me any questions that you have in the comment section below and I'll catch you on the next one bye